So, here's the Miss Thang. I didn't expect to do an update today, but Jesus. Today was hard. Today might have been the hardest day since July 19th when the doctor told me I might have MS. It just started with work. <clears throat> my laptop wasn't working, and it, so I was working off my phone. And there's a project that's going on that I'm supposed to be leading that I didn't do a great job at. So I was already defeated. I got a call from the Ogrevest people <clears throat> to, to talk about my benefits and all that stuff, and it felt like the same call that I had last week from a different person, and I told them, hey, George called me last week. And Sandra said, yeah, I see that. And I'm like, then, then why, why are you calling me? So <clears throat> they enrolled me in their copay program. Thank God, because the 20% copay on one infusion is $6,400. Which means each infusion costs 32 thousand dollars I'm very very blessed that I have a full-time nice paying job bravo stop um, and I'm very blessed that that I have good insurance how in the hell does anybody survive this chronic illness and get proper treatment if it costs $64,000 a year. It's just something that, that made me pause and made me grateful, as my therapist and Sarah Shelby Martin are telling me to do, is to be grateful for things. So I'm grateful that I'm employed. I'm grateful that I have insurance. I'm grateful for this idiot that's climbing all over the place. Hi, Bravo, say hi. Oh, and by the way, a friend of mine, who I've known for nearly 50 years, got him a, a, a pickle, hold on, hold on, oops, that does this. Yeah, what do you think? What do you think, Bravo? So. I told you Bravo would make an appearance at some point, and here he is in all his glory. Say hi. Hi. Okay. <clears throat> That's all I really had is, like, today was hard. I went to therapy and vomited all that out. Um, Jed and Tim got a house, which is great. Um, and I'm tired. But I have seven work days left for the cruise, and I just have this um, this weird feeling that something's going to go wrong. Not with COVID and not with me, but that something's going to go wrong with the ship and I won't be able to get on or miss the flight. or so I don't know. So just keep thinking good cruise thoughts because I really need a vacation. I need a moment to just be myself, by myself, not have to worry about anything else and process the last two years. I'd really like to do that. I'd really like to have some alone time to read and to figure out what the hell what the hell's next and what the hell the rest of my life is. On that note, mask up, get a damn vaccine, don't let your cat crawl on your back when he's got nails. Oh, hi. Oh, no, don't you jump up there. Anyways, mask up, get a vaccine. Know that I love you. I really love you. Peace out.